My name is Stephen and this is my channel, Hearts Delight Exports. Hello and welcome back to my shop. I got a bit of a project in mind today that's purely for my own amusement. It has no practical value, it's not something that most other people are going to want to reproduce, but it's something that's been on my mind for a while. Now, like a lot of people, I, I like playing video games. One of the ones that's caught my attention and I've been playing for a while now is Fallout. I played Fallout, played Fallout 2, I played Fallout 3, and I'm currently working on Fallout 4. Now one of the things that's always got to me is the all the Raider armor just doesn't seem to fit into the world exactly. You look around and there's always this one thing that's around, lying on the ground, left to rot, that they could be using to make armor out of. I don't understand what the, and why they didn't. So today, I'm going to make armor for myself in a style for Fallout 3. And I'm going to make it out of this. You want to see how I make armor out of a tire? So the first thing I'm going to do I got a metal cutting blade in my jigsaw and I'm going to cut in through the side here up to the edge of the side wall and I'm going to go all the way around top and bottom separate the side walls off because I don't need them exactly for what I'm planning on doing. Okay so let's get that started first. I don't really need to worry about cutting it to exact size because I plan on taking a, a small piece of this, maybe a foot long or so, and bolting it to both edges, so, bolting it to one edge to act as a, a flap over and I'll have bolts on the front of it that you could use a wing nut for and be able to tighten it on. Sort of a harness system, uh, I think. But first I need to cut this piece down so that it only wraps around me once. Okay, so this is gonna be my main piece. So this one will give me measurements. This one will give me an idea of what size I need to cut the next one. Yeah, it's gonna take more than one.
Okay, so it's looking pretty good so far, but it's also showing me that this is going to be tedious as hell. So I'm going to change my method a bit. I'm not going to try to sew it like fabric though. I don't know why I thought that would work. I'm going to basically do rings every four or five inches maybe. Two holes, loop it through and twist it off like a twist tie. So I'll bring you back closer to when I'm finished that and you can see the next step after that. Okay? Okay, so I got the waist, the, the main chest protection uh, all sewn together now. It might have been a lot easier if I had some sort of heavy duty zip ties, but you use what you got. What I, what I had for this project was this galvanized steel wire of some sort. I think it came off of one of those guide, guide lines for a telephone pole. I'm not sure. It turns out to be very strong, not very bendable, and it does break when twisted a bit, so not so good for this project where I'm twisting to try to tighten it up. But it worked. Now the next part involves me using the drill to drill a few holes to get the, the first shoulder strap done. I'm going to use one of the offcuts for this and I hope to be able to use the other offcut for the other shoulder but it'll all depend on if it turns out to be long enough or not. One tire was bigger on the round than the other so I got different size offcuts. So first thing I need to do, drill a couple holes. Okay, so I was planning on doing a second shoulder strap up this way, but I think I've gotten enough idea why this isn't in the game. If you had to use this in real life for any amount of time, you'd abandon it for less armor. It'd just be worth it. Uh, the tire up on the shoulder strap needs to be cut away uh, for around the neck which is going to expose the, the steel steel belts. It needs to be cut on the shoulder side and on my arm side in order to arrange, allow range of movement. Right now I can't get my arm up higher than that. If I do the same thing for the other side, it's going to get worse. Uh, I don't have a good system at the moment for holding it around my waist. It's uh, only a bungee cord holding it on there. And I did have something. I had a, a spring that was just the right length by coincidence alone. And I was going to use it and I dropped it or something and it's since disappeared. But I see other difficulties with this as well. Even if I had another shoulder strap coming up here, the center of your chest is going to be wide open. This is my other off cut. So you can imagine, yeah, I meant for it to, uh, to go at a bit more of an angle like this side as well, but still, your center of chest is way too open. Lethal blow here easily. All right, not to mention 
getting all this armpit area is a quick access to the heart like same on both sides this off cut wasn't going to obviously wasn't going to bend and reach around my back to, to work out any good but as proof of concept it's not bad it could be done the, the real thing is probably shouldn't be even a, in a post-apocalyptic world where supplies and knowledge are limited if you can think up this you can probably think up a better way of using this I mean realistically what is it going to stop it'll slow down a knife because this is the steel belted side and you hear stories of, uh, of people flattening other people's tires to usually go in through the sidewall for that trying to pierce this with a knife would be difficult not impossible but difficult uh, it would protect your your chest pretty good but uh, where I've joined the two pieces here is left a ridge on the inside and that's already starting to annoy me by digging into my stomach a bit wouldn't be comfortable over long periods for sure uh, crushing blows somebody swinging a baseball bat at you or something you're still gonna hurt it might take some of the some of the damage out of it, it might soften the blow a little bit but it's not going to do that much and against uh, any kind of, of gun it's probably not going to do anything worth mentioning besides the fact that you can still get a headshot but all in all I'm glad I did it it uses up a couple of tires I had no real use for and shouldn't have bothered saving anyway I'll have easier time getting rid of them now I guess but it was always an interesting idea to me and I wanted to see exactly how much trouble would this be to arrange turns out a fair bit all right so that's it for this one I don't see any point in uh, in continuing this any further it's already uncomfortable enough to wear that my daughter had hoped that I'd build this and maybe wear it to a comic-con or something the truth is if you were wearing this all day at anything even just walking around with it you'd be uncomfortable as hell so that's not likely going to happen but I hope you enjoyed the video I appreciate the fact that you actually stayed to watch to this far if you're actually seeing this okay so that's the end of another video I hope it was at least entertaining for you if you like the idea you can give it a thumbs up question or comment is welcome in the comment box below and uh, if you'd like to, to see what I'm up to on a regular basis you can always subscribe let YouTube tell you when I've uploaded a new video okay I'll see you the next time I'm down in the shop and you have a good day go try to do something yourself fire your imagination Thank <laughs> you.